Kidney vascular anatomy, path of blood within kidney. This video tracks the path of blood from its entry into kidney via renal artery to its exit via renal vein. Artery is a blood vessel that carries blood away from the heart. Vein is a blood vessel that carries blood toward the heart. The video covers artery branching in the kidney, tiny arteries going in and out of nephrons, and capillaries within the nephron, ultimately leading to the collection and exit of purified blood. Renal artery, a major branch of the abdominal aorta, enters each kidney at the hilum, the indented area on the kidney's central side. This crucial artery delivers oxygen-rich blood directly to the kidney, providing the essential nutrients and oxygen required for the kidney's filtration and metabolic activities. Renal artery typically has a diameter of about 5 to 6 millimeters, ensuring a substantial blood flow to the kidney, which receives about 20 to 25 percent of the heart's output, approximately 1.2 liters of blood per minute. Upon entering the kidney, renal artery branches into smaller and smaller segments. They include segmental arteries, interlobar arteries, arcuate arteries, and interlobular arteries. This branching pattern ensures a widespread distribution of blood throughout the kidney, especially to the cortex where the majority of nephrons are located. Interlobular arteries continue to branch into smaller vessels, ultimately forming the afferent arterioles. Arterioles are tiny arteries. Afferent means bring to in Latin. Each afferent arteriole brings blood to a single nephron, the basic functional unit of the kidney. The diameter of afferent arterioles, typically ranging from 10 to 15 micrometers, is a key factor in determining the glomerular filtration rate, GFR. Afferent arterioles lead directly into the glomerulus, a network of capillaries enclosed within Bowman's capsule. Here, blood undergoes filtration with water ions and small molecules passing through the capillary walls into Bowman's capsule. A single glomerulus can filter a remarkable amount of blood, approximately 0.18 milliliters daily in an average adult, roughly two drops of blood. Following its filtration within the glomerulus, blood exits through the narrower efferent arterioles. Efferent means bring out in Latin. Efferent arterioles bring blood out of glomerulus. They also maintain a high pressure that is essential for effective filtration. Efferent arterioles carry blood, still containing many vital nutrients and larger molecules, to capillaries that surround renal tubes for further processing. After essential nutrients are reabsorbed into the blood, refined blood is collected by venules. A venule is a tiny vein. These venules progressively merge into larger veins within the kidney. This network eventually forms the renal vein, which is about 5 to 6 millimeters in diameter. Renal veins exit the kidneys at the hilum and merge into a major vein transporting blood to the heart. 